Well, you're watching this because you're in for a treat and you know it. I certainly know it because I am in for a treat as well because I'm going to be reviewing and drinking this here. Kuko. This here golden can of golden goodness. The Kuko Vechne. Which is a wheat beer and in my humble opinion it's actually the best wheat beer that you can buy for these two euros that it costs. One ninety nine in S market and also in K market. Uh, let's uh, have a uh, have a go at it. There we have it. Let's try to see if we can get this this poured very beautifully and have a look at the uh, at the glass. It's cloudy. It's uh, it's slightly carbonated. It's um, it's not a German Hefeweizen. Come on, don't expect that. There's not gonna be little little bits of yeast uh, floating around in it, giving little flavor packets and stuff like that. But seriously, for two euros, what what can we expect? Well, what can we expect? Let's. Uh, well, it's very refreshing. It's got that wheat uh, beer flavor, sort of aroma, banana. Um, it's got the banana sort of uh, flavor, uh, the one that you get from a from a very thick um, from a wheat beer, uh, amongst other things. Um, it's it's refreshing. It's a very refreshing beer. One thing that you can do with a beer like this as well is just throw a uh, big chunk of orange or a lemon or something in it. Just uh, buy organic. Then you can put the uh, the whole uh, the peel and everything in it. Just squash it and mix it around in a bigger glass than this, of course. Uh, I'm uh, unfortunately in a hotel room where they don't have wheat beer glasses, but uh, never mind. Uh, I'm enjoying this. It's it's a little bit thin, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, not too much depth and not too much body to it, but but it's fresh. It goes down really, really easy, and that's uh, very important, um, especially on a hot summer day, which it actually isn't at the moment. But uh, but still. Okay, let me talk a little bit about Kuko. Kuko has been around for, well, at least all the time I've been here. Uh, they do a, uh, a little lager, a little green lager, uh, which is probably the one I would buy whenever I want to buy cheap beer. Um, a couple of years ago, they started with this one and a few other half-liter cans, and they're cheap. They're, they're really dirt cheap. They're probably the cheapest uh, you can go for of of the recognized Finnish beer brands, I would, I would imagine. Little can probably beat them on price. But, um, but anyway, um, it's good. There's a big, big Finnish beer revolution going on with enormous brewers like... Uh, come on. Like uh, in Pori, there's Beer Hunters, then there's Heasy over in Juveskula, there's uh, um, uh, Punikin in Tampere, there's, there's some really enormous beers coming out. And then there's these, he, these ones that are cheap and of course not as good, not as interesting at all. But they're just coming there along and they're, um, they're, 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 really, they're really there and they got their segment. At least for me, they do. So, would I go and grab a six pack or a twelve pack of uh, of regular lager, Kahu, Kof, or Sandals or Olvi or something like that? Hell no, no, no. I would go and grab one, uh, a couple of these, a couple of IPAs, a couple, of, a couple of uh, Nokian Panimo as well, stuff like that. It's they're taking over. To me, they are. Um, I know that the other uh, segment, the the old lagers, they're still gonna exist, but this is just 
this is just an interesting new thing that's happening and you can get some some beers that you usually couldn't get and now you can get them at at pretty affordable prices and they taste good nokian they're doing the same thing with their beers sort of same prices same quality level nokian they do a wheat beer as well it's it's very different from this but it's definitely up there as well in the um in the level of being interesting so that's all there is to say for this thank you very much for watching uh, i hope you were entertained and i hope you learned a little bit about what's going on in the finnish beer scene i'm mad i live in finland i'm not finnish i don't necessarily like everything so i review it and that's what you just watched kuko there we have it <laughs>